Sean, who is our uh, fourth speaker, and we might not have the right kind of photo for him, but he's very like that. And uh, Asad, Sean, um, he is an investment banker, and then, as you may understand, the global financial crisis, he ventured into and uh, taking advantage of the good looks, he ventured into modeling and, and fashion. And he is a movie star. He, uh, he definitely one of the young and budding and, and uh, fastly becoming popular movie star from the British Pakistan generation, and uh, he's a British actor, fashion model, and uh, an ex-investment banker. Asad Shah next, we somehow partnered up with Munir, and uh, he thought it would be a wonderful combination that both actually do it together. So Asad, we understand that Pakistanis have been rated among uh, the third and fourth most uh, hottest um, <laughs> in, in, in the world, in fact, in terms of the men and women, in fact. So actually, looking at you, I was just thinking, like, uh, some chance for myself and other great people uh, in, 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 in the as we have in the audience, in fact. So uh, wh what would you say, because this is something, um, once again, a groundbreaking angle, uh, what kind of challenges you met, and what would you uh, suggest to all those handsome people sitting there? <laughs> Uh, first of all, uh, I have to say, uh, I shouldn't have let Monir go first, because you can't beat that story <laughs> at all. Uh, yeah, it's pretty Yeah. I don't know about the... I did read uh, this, that Pakistanis are apparently voted the third most handsome after the Irish and... I don't know who was second, but I mean... Australian, you know, probably. Yeah. Australians, yeah. yes. It was actually Australian. Yeah. Australian. Yeah. Italian. 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 Okay. See, he knows. Sorry. <laughs> 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 he knows. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm very proud to be green, to be honest, like, um, I missed out on a big film because I was Pakistani and the film was being shot in India and it didn't for a moment, it was like, oh my god, like, that is the only reason. They actually said because I was Pakistani, origin, even though I had a British passport, I was losing out on a very big project. But it didn't matter because I knew the director rented me, but for whatever business reasons they thought it wasn't obvious. Uh, at that point, uh, Seven Welcome to London came in origin, and that's how we made it. Going back to my new story, my granddad came in, uh, I'm not going to take that much time. Uh, my granddad came in 19, uh, I think late 50s, early 60s, and he did say in Canning Town that, um, you know, you guys all live in mansions, and they used to have 16 people sleep at one point, and then the shift used to change, so there were 32 people in one house at that point. People used to spit at them when they used to go. I'm proud to say my grandfather was a rubber factory worker. Uh, today, all his sons have massive property empires. Uh, all of them. Uh, but my dad said, I'm not spending any money on films. So that's clear. Uh, but I'm just saying that, you know, it's, we, we started from somewhere. And it was because we came to this country and we worked really, really hard. Uh, I'm the first one. I'm the black sheep of my entire family because they think that uh, my father sent me to a private school, uh, I got all the grades, I got a law degree, and then um, got on a graduate scheme with one of the top investment banks. Did that for two years, um, and then somebody fell ill in my family, um, and they had brain tumor. When they recovered, um, I just flipped, basically, went 360 and said, I'm going to film school in New York. They were like, what happened? They thought, so, uh, so I came back and they were like, okay, okay, man, they said I want to go traveling, I want to go to India. Ended up in India, I was doing this course, and they have a billion Indians 
and they have to pick one Pakistani to be the new face of B4U. Uh, that's how crazy life is. And uh, I remember coming back uh, on holiday and you land at Her Heathrow Terminal 3 and the kind of like uh, adulation that you get, I mean, from everyone, everyone wants to take a picture with you, you're getting recognized. And for me, it was all about just working, wanting to be part of that world, which I wasn't aware of. My father had meat shops and then he went to the property trade. Uh, I, I never worked there, but at least I knew there that this is what my family did. And I'm very proud of my heritage. Again, I did uh, some Mr. Asia competition. I don't know how. I think they were all probably drinking. I ended up winning it. And uh, um, yeah, and then one thing led to another. So right now I am doing two shows on TV on Zing. Uh, and so if you go home tonight, Sky 789, this is a plug. Please do watch it. I will tell you something for that. Yeah, there you go. Um, and yeah, so I mean, uh, also work as a creative director and advertising house. Um, I've shot a commercial with uh, Samuel Jackson last year for his cancer charity, uh, where he personally just you know picked me and said, "Be in this commercial with me." Um, all I want to do um, in my recent visits to Pakistan, I love Pakistan. You know, we belong to Jhelum, and uh, I think the only place apart from London when I land at Heathrow, I take this deep breath and I feel like I'm home. And I've travelled all over the world, and Pakistan is the only place which gives me that feeling. And nowhere, nowhere else is there. <laughs> People can say so much, you know. They said, yeah, Pakistan is my joke, but I don't know what it is. Like, you know, they say, say so many things, but I don't know what it is. It just keeps taking me back, back, back every time. Like, I just want to go there, I want to do stuff there. And uh, uh, so I'll be going there soon. We're working on a couple of projects there. Uh, when I do films there, and uh, I, I think I'm just proud to be a British Pakistani and uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Uh, this is probably for uh, Asad. Uh, I'm just curious to know how do you get from somewhere like from an academic background and a very sort of like a professional career oriented background to uh, the film industry? How easy or how difficult is it to break through and what sort of tips and ideas do you need to have? So uh, the answer is I think education is very important. Um, it kind of helps you. You can't just like wake up like Zoolander and say, oh, I'm attractive and I should be a model or actor. It doesn't work that way. It can to a certain extent, but you know, when you go into these meetings, they look for something else, something added. It's like, uh, you know, the spunk, the X factor. That's, that's all it is. And I think education helps. You can go into a meeting and, you know, you can talk about anything in the world and they will know that this person has a personality. I would love to work with him. It comes with a certain aura. It is tough, I have to say. Um, you know, I, when I, I started initially, um, I didn't realize, like, uh, when, I, when I started my first job, um, my first job at, was part-time at Selfridges, just quickly, I'm going to tell you, um, when I was doing Saturday Sundays, but at the investment <coughs> bank, uh, at the age of 20, when you start on 35K, you think you're over the moon, you've got no expense, you're only paying for a phone bill, it's all, you know, very jolly good. But eventually then you just give up everything to start what you really want to do. There are tough rides. But uh, the policy is just never give up at all. Don't ever give up, uh, but be wise. Have something else going for you while you're achieving something else. Don't be like, I'm just like, so for you, I'm going to say, don't give up anything today and just get a ticket to Pakistan. Uh, but I'm just saying that, you know, and do a drama. But, um, you know, you just have to like work hard uh, and just be a heart person. When you are truthful, good things will happen to you. And men do that. Yeah, men. So, I think I'm going to call it a very talented talent.